So obviously from, from a design perspective, from mythology, you've got the children of Lear being the eldest son, A, um, because the children of Lear, it's interesting in that it's an entity, so to speak, he becomes the god of the underworld. We've done the Devil's Keep before, obviously this would be the god of the underworld of Ireland. Um, and you know, it's a spirit, which spirits were in whiskey. And the children of Lear is an interesting story in that he's been trapped for 900 years, A, by his evil stepmother, uh, because she was jealous of of, his, of the love that his father showed to him and his brothers and sisters. So she trapped him in a swan's body for 900 years in the water, um, which is quite interesting in that whiskey being in a barrel for, for many, many years until it matures to become something. Uh, I wonder, can we play on that one, given that it's, you know, it's really the most, one of the most famous stories from Ireland. I, re I was read it as I was a kid growing up many, many times. I've read it in, from school to being at home with my mom and dad, uh, reading it as bedtime stories, believe it or not. And I just think it, it could be something incredible. The, the A is the god of the underworld. My part of my work has been based on researching all about the mythology and the Irish entities. And the story of the A is one that struck me as a very relevant one and one that also wanted to discuss and to create a whiskey around it. And like you said, Jay, it's all about the entrapment um, of the A in, inside and inside the body of something very beautiful, in something that is known as also being the water substrate that then influences the whiskey itself. And it's something that can make that parallelism throughout the entire maturation and the entire process of making the whiskey. And obviously, as the same as the, the A was entrapped waiting to be released into something very powerful, then we are doing exactly the same thing with our DA, which is also releasing a whiskey that is very, very powerful at the end of the entire process. Yeah, yeah, I think it's perfect. I think I couldn't think of a better a better one for this particular whiskey because it is, it's actually gonna be our oldest whiskey we've ever released. It's a flavor bomb like nothing I've ever tried. Um, so to be able to put it into something beautiful, I mean, obviously I want to see what designs you, you come up with for it, but I'm sure, you know, knowing what you put together, it's going to be, it's going to be incredible. So yeah, if we can do something where it's entrapped or encased in something beautiful, um, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, yeah. And, and, and maybe it's got to always go back into that particular, like the vessel itself, the whiskey bottle kind of always has to go back to where it was because obviously you're unleashing the god of the underworld and you're taking a sip of of the a but then it's got to go back into its into its place i think would be cool and ultimately as the god of the underworld it needs a proper throne to sit so yes it would be one of the main things that i would plan in designing such an such an item and such an entity would be yes you need to have a beautiful vessel uh the entrapment it needs to be beautiful on its own just like this one was a very beautiful uh, image uh, around the entirety of the the A story and mythology, uh, but then ultimately you have so much power in your hands, then you need obviously to keep it constrained and to keep it in a proper throne to obviously highlight the entire entity that you are holding. Yeah, I like that. So what it's what it's being held in, it goes back into like it's sitting back on its throne. Um, so essentially it'll be something that like doors or whatever you would use that would close across it, which is when it's encasing the swan, when the A is in the swan. And then maybe there's a button or something that can be pressed that would open it up. And and then it could stay open looking like it's on its throne and it's been released and they can take it in and out as they want. Is that, that what you're thinking? Yeah, absolutely. And I think for a, a design like this, and if we are going down the route of something very beautiful, if we're going down the route of an entity that ultimately needs to be seen and it's entrapped, but it's entrapped in plain sight, then most of it would be see-through. Um, I think we should deviate from the, let's call it the ordinary fully closed box um, to put the whisk in there and actually to have it locked in plain sight. So what I'm envisioning at this stage is to have a structure that is still holding your bottle, that is still working as a throne, but you can still see it inside. So you know that entity is there. It's waiting to be unleashed. It's waiting for all its forces. Yeah. I love that because in the story of the children of Lear, when the spell was cast on them for 900 years in the body of a swan, they were still allowed to have their voices so they could still speak and sing and tell and tell the people, hey, we're swans, but we're really the children of Lear. Um, okay. So they're in plain sight, but they, they're not, so to speak, because they're trapped in the body of a swan, but you can tell that it's the children of Lear. I think that's brilliant.
Absolutely, I think it's it's all about seeing through the entirety of that entity, and it, like I said, it's going to be our most uh, rarest, our rarest and most um, exquisite release this far. Uh, it needs to have it, its own kind of visual and visual to see through through everything, definitely. Yep, I agree.